Hello guys, you are looking at one iconic puzzle from Richard Retti. Why to move and to win? Sure, of course we have our rook and a bishop and it all looks good, but there's a problem. These two pawns, especially the one on e2, threatening to promote to a queen on the next move. We need to address this somehow and uh, see if we can win even though these pawns are there. So you should pause the video now and see if you can find a solution for yourself before we look at it together. You can go ahead. All right, welcome back. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but I think many of you fell into this, this trap. Bishop c6 is not the right move. It looks very good. Of course, you cannot go back to uh, c8. It's checkmate. It cannot really go back to d8. We just play rook e4 and we will checkmate next move we don't bother about these pawns but black will play king d6 and it looks fairly easy rook d4 check he attacks our rook with the king we go back and play rook e4 check and then we just take the pawns both of them but look at this black plays his king back to d6 and now we cannot really come any further. Either we take a check again and we'll just uh, repeat, or we take this pawn. But black will just promote to a queen anyway. And look at this. This is a stalemate. If we take here, it's a draw. Black king cannot go anywhere. And well, we can't do anything else than to take it, really, if we try to give a check on d3 well the king will just uh, go away we're stuck with this queen and for sure we are not winning so from the start actually bishop c6 is wrong we have to give the check on f5 instead but this is not as easy as it looks either so let's see what happens okay well if we start attacking us the same way like this then it's a very easy win for us. We don't need this bishop. We can gladly sacrifice it if we get both pawns and we win. But black has another defense also in this variation. So after we check on uh, f5, the black king will go down to d8. So how do we stop this here? Well, okay, we give a check first, force him to the e file. And another check. But now is the problem. Look at this. The king goes back to d8. And it's the same way again. If we take here, well, there's going to be a queen and another stalemate trap. Wow. And this is what makes this uh, study so iconic. So, after uh let's see after you place king d8 this is still the winning variation but we have to find something else than to take this pawn if you want to you can uh, post the video again and see how you can win this for white now all right go ahead here we go and this is beautiful we cannot give another check we will just repeat ourselves we have to play bishop d7 look at this it's a great bishop sacrifice. Of course, you cannot take it. Then we can gladly take both pawns. The king has somewhere to go, so there's no stalemate. So he will not take it. Instead, the only possible defense for black is to promote to a queen. So we are just allowing black to promote in this uh, puzzle. And we play this very calm move, bishop b5. And look at this. We are threatening checkmate here. Black king, black queen cannot go anywhere to cover this square on e8. And he cannot give a check anywhere except sacrificing his queen. And then, of course, it's a very easy win. If he doesn't sacrifice, well, it's going to be a checkmate in the next move. So, either way, we are winning this as white. This study had a lot more uh, hidden gems than I thought when I looked at it first, but that's how Richard Retty works. All these uh, 
nice little uh, surprises uh, along the way. Really beautiful. I love it. Hope you enjoyed it too. Please press like on the video and come back to my channel for more. Have a great day. Bye-bye.